Hello and welcome to TrainSim TV. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the upcoming Harrogate Loop version 2, the Leeds Direct Line extension. Um, this we showed on our TrainSim TV stream about two weeks ago now. Um, it's been a while since uh, we did that, to be honest, and it's only taken until now to get this video recorded. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're not actually doing a middle of the day one. We're going to go for we're going for a twilight scenario, so it's the lights fade and all that. This isn't a video to be prior to the release. There'll be another video to come, which will uh, be fully daytime and all that sort of jargon. But I just wanted to do something with um, this sort of time of the day, just so we could show some of the lighting off as well. Um, because Lewis has redone all the lighting inside York Station to reflect uh, the era of what we're trying to go for. So it used to be all orange, sort of orange lighting there, but it's now been upgraded to sort of LED sort of like white LED sort of stuff. Um, so there's still some of the orange lighting about, but um, as you can see, it's uh, it's a mixture now. But um, hopefully you uh, like what's being done with that. Uh, we're going to take a service from here at York down to Leeds as well. So we're going to get ourselves set up and get ourselves on, uh, on the way. Good evening, driver. Tonight you've got to 2 car 158 on the final service along the direct line. As this is the last train of the day, we'll be stopping at all stations en route to Leeds. Would you offer at 2119 to get your doors open and get our cab set up? Right, so we have the doors open, we'll get our key in. Derry off, we'll get the headlights on as well, uh, we'll put the tail lamps off. Uh, we're going to want these on night mode, which is on the opposite side. There we go. Uh, GSMR. So we are two Tango 32. And signal code is 226. We've got a bit of time here. I don't actually know what the code is for the uh, dot matrix thing, so I'm just going to go through and scroll through here to pick up leads. Might try and get that added in onto the destination stuff uh, in the information on the F1 HUD for the scenario, so at least you don't have to scour through your manuals. Uh, we'll have a word and see if uh, Lewis is able to add that on. I think this is one of Lewis's scenarios. Oh, he's having a wander down. We are trying to have a look at this and trying to figure out and try and get all these platforms sorted, so. Don't forget it is work in progress. You can see in the top uh, left hand side of the screen it does say work in progress, so this is not available yet. Version 1 is though. Version 1 is available now from On Track Simulation. And whilst we're here, I'll just take you a quick look around. Obviously, the uh, the night uh, is setting in, but um, you should see, see quite a bit still. Again, this is uh, just a pure drive, really. This for this video. Station itself is virtually the same um, as it was, but there's been a few tweaks, a few updates, signal updates have happened around here as well. Um, a lot of signals have been fixed. Um, all the benches are now back as well, which is uh, a good stuff. Extra bits of detail have been added onto the station and stuff like that as well. Just odd bits here and there. Uh, stuff that was missing, uh, such as like things like the shelters and stuff like that, other benches and stuff. Uh, also got the car park in the back of the station now as well. Some of the uh, sort of backdrop to Leeds has been updated as well. But anyway, let's get ourselves back in with our service. So again, it's one five eight on this, and it's one five eight eight six eight. Right here, we've got the uh, the doors are just shut. So we're heading south out of uh, York, and I said leads them south out of York. Heading down towards Colton Junction first before we uh, diverge off onto the uh, the Leeds direct line 
head to church fence and then we turn off there and then it's uh, down through Micklefield, uh, Garforth and East Garforth, whichever order they are, I always forget. Um, we've then got um, cross gates and then into Leeds itself. Theatre box indicating we're on to the Leeds, uh, on the Leeds lines there. It's the first time I've actually driven this uh, down this section at this sort of time of day, so I'm interested to see what the night lighting is like as well. I'll try and drive with the hood off as well. See how far we get. Other than that, sort of toggling, just double check my speed, but he's 90 for this section. So we're going to be calling at Church Fenton, Micklefield, East Garforth, Garforth, Crossgates and Leeds. Arriving at Leeds at approximately uh, 21.57. It's a 45 minute scenario this. And it is one that comes with the route when we release. It's quite a mixed variety of scenery along the route as well. I mean, you get these busy built-up areas on the way out of York, and then sort of go into the countryside for a good while. You pass the uh, quite a few villages along the way, obviously through um, Ulskelf, Church Fenton. It isn't really till Micklefield where it starts building up again, but then it just it turns into sort of like a mixture of countryside and towns again, builds up again, and then it, it'll go back into the countryside. And then you, you get some sort of like industrial areas on the way through cross gates where a lot of housing estates have been built as well which have been uh, replicated in this route and then once you're getting through cross gates it's literally then um, the whole run into Leeds obviously it builds itself up then so there's plenty of variety of things to see it's quite a fun drive as well I mean, every time I've driven it so far, it's been very enjoyable. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed it when we did our stream the other week as well. Um, obviously, that was quite a big insight to what's what has been happening with the project. So version two, this will be, but uh, version three, I don't think will be too far behind because that's going to be going to Selby as well. So a good section of the route from Leeds to Selby will all be included. Uh, the section from Leeds up to Gaskin Wood will be included, so there's a good chunk of them so it's already covered. Um, it'll just be a case of finishing off to Selby and then the East Coast Mainline section from um, Colton Junction. Going through Cotton Fort, crossing just gone past there. Still 90 mile an hour is the uh, top speed at the moment for us, which it will be for a while yet. So you get a good mixture on uh, different speeds along the route. It goes quite, it's quite a quick section as well, a lot of it. It's only when you sort of started getting past Micklefield, it does, it does drop down a little bit, but even then it's still a good run. So everything as well has been revamped now. Uh, Neville Hills had a, a, a big rework. All the scenery has been re, re, uh, uh, redone around there, shall I say. A lot of new shed work has been put in, uh, changing them, other bits and pieces.
so just come up to Colton Junction now, so obviously the East Coast Main Line continues and runs to the left and sort of curves away. We continue um, on this section. Over at Wires End here, but obviously in today's world and in the current area we are now in, 2021, they started to do the uh, overhead wiring, so they started putting in the masts on this section of the route, so obviously it's going to be going down to Leeds. We won't be replicating that, uh, we're going to be keeping it as it is. One of the main reasons being as well is there's not enough uh, modern stockings, yes, about all these new trains, there's just nothing that we can really make as scenarios with. With Bolton Percy area as well now. All Skelf, not too far away. That will be uh, passing us on our left hand side shortly as well. Not a lot of stops, uh, stopping services stop there. I mean, there's odd, odd direct line ones. I think there's like one or two a day or something in each direction. Mainly the, uh, it's the services that run like down through to Hull, also down to Sheffield that run that way. And uh, call that station. There is a few scenarios that do use that station though with the release, um, so don't don't worry, it hasn't been forgotten and left out in terms of like any running operation. over the river wharf there as well uh, and then all skull can just see in the distance the bridge that is where the station is could have been so we've just passed and um, we'll just uh, left that station Not far from church fencing now, so we'll be slowing down shortly as well. Quite fast junctions, these have been relayed as well um, here just so it allows a smoother transition as we cross over at high speeds. It was quite rough uh, um, prior. Church Fenton. There is still a little bit of work to be done here, um, helping that uh, we get the building in, at least for the release, which is the Curry House, which is on, on the bridge. Lewis is hoping that he may be able to throw a little bit of something together. Another thing that's hoping to be changed is uh, in the station signs, uh, it's going to be looking at making some new ones. Uh, these ones are a little bit old and uh, clunky really now. Um, a bit blocky as well, so hoping to get them sorted. Um, we've got a few other little bits and pieces, some sort of like 
just extra detail really uh, some stuff to do with the motorway so like motorway signs and stuff like that something else that's planned to be added This is the route map, of course. Same as what you've got now in version 1. We started up at the top here at uh, York, heading south. We're at Church Venting over here now. So we're going to take this line down here, uh, join up at Mickerfield where the Selby line comes in. <coughs> then we're going to continue across past Neville Hill, up through Marsh Lane, and then into Leeds itself, platform 11A for this service. Uh, when you um, come to Church Fenton, of course, you've got the junction here. So the line to the left is the uh, line that goes down to Milford Junction, which is fully scenery and included with this release when we come to get there. Um, and of course, that line does continue either onwards towards um, Sheffield. Uh, I think it's via Moorford. I'm just looking, I've got my map. So it goes through um, Castleford, Normanton. Uh, you can go that way through to like Wakefield, Kirkgate. Um, you can also. Um, you can do a left at just after um, Milford Junction, then you can go down to Sheffield, uh, so that's via uh, Moorthorpe, and then uh, to Swinton. Quite a slow junction actually, I didn't realise it was 15, I just noticed the speedboard there, I've got my, my hunt's not on. I'm still learning the route. Up to 17 a minute though. Lewis is also hoping that uh, release will be in the uh, probably the next couple of months. Uh, the way we're going now, it's working on the South Milford uh, part at the minute from Micklefield out down to uh, Gaskin Wood. There's a bit of a gap on the scenery. Um, he has actually done a fair bit this last couple of days as well, and South Milford Station there is actually complete. There's just a few gaps really to fill in there now. Once that's done, that's all the scenery is ready. Um, it's just a case of then the final tweaks and bits and pieces to signals and uh, odd minor details to add in. Um, and then it's just a case of sorting the snarks out and uh, making sure it all works before we release. So, in the grand scheme of things, we ain't really far at all. Next stop's Micklefield. So we're on the climb of it, it's one in one four six on the hood it says there. 70 mile an hour run this part.
This is quite testing as well, though, because I've, I've only driven this section like once or twice. Both have been with the HUD. So, to see if I can do this without the HUD is quite quite testing, especially for a video as well, because if I'm making the uh, mess ups, it, it's not good. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll see how we can, uh, get on. far away now so just up ahead is the I think it's the M1 uh, bridge I can just see in the distance coming up now so I'll stop with the brakes on so the line from uh, Selby sort of runs alongside us here and that tree line over there behind the pylons and stuff This junction was relayed as well from the original track, um, as it's been it has been relayed recently to allow for faster running. Staggered platforms here as well. Fully kit bash station this one as well, using all the things we've got. The only thing that's custom is the actual uh, name signs. Everything else is just using what we have. East Garforth next. One of the things as well, coming with the release scenario wise, is um, that Mark's made a Steam scenario, which is for the Scarborough Spa Express. Now, the aim of this route originally was always to be um, Scarborough Spa Express, to have the full loop and everything in there. Finally, we've got it. Um, obviously, we haven't got the section of Scarborough, we can do a full run round. And Mark, Mark made a, narrow, a three hour and ten minute scenario that covers that, so it starts off at York and you pick your stock. 
go onto the platform, go via the uh, line by Harrogate, and then come through to Leeds and then back down to York. Quite a challenging run, I believe. But that will be included uh, on the release as well. Not far from East Garforth now. East Garth is custom, but uh, this is using one of DP Simulations models. And that's thanks to Darren as well for allowing us to bundle the station with the route. I'm trying to see if we get a screenshot out of this. bit dark really for that. That's Selby service leaving here as well. A short run now down to Garforth. It's literally just around the bend. Uh, distance from it is 0.55 of a mile, so you don't get much time to get up to speed. You won't get to speed, but I think you can get to about 40 mile an hour, and then you have to start putting the brakes on again. It's literally just over the, uh, around this bend and around the next one. You sort of see the lights coming into play now. Really, really close. You can just see the car park. So that footbridge there is a custom one, but um, not by ourselves, it's one that's been allowed for bundling. It's come from the North Yorkshire Malls Railway uh, route, and uh, Andy, who created the route, allowed us to include that one with the uh, release of the route, so a massive thanks to Andy there. Might be able to get a nice screenshot, actually, if we get the lights, right?
We've got Crossgates and Leeds left uh, on this run as well. Got about 10 or so minutes left on the drive. About 13 minutes, I'd say. Try and uh, get a screen grab here for the thumbnail. It's quite a nice view, and the lighting's good. Something like that. That should do it. Now people will probably be wondering what's uh, new in the requirements list for this. Everything obviously from version 1, which is a given. There's only two more um, payware requirements needed, which is the Great Eastern Main Line and the North Wales Coast. Now, North Wales Coast, we are fully aware, is not available off Steam, but you can still pick it up under Humble Bundle um, within the Train Sim 2018 pack. Um, I believe it is still on there and available to grab. You don't need to have the Hollyhead extension. Uh, which we, we found out we don't need because Lewis only has the, the base pack he never got the Hollyhead extension it all works fine with the semaphore stuff so win win Uh, 90 mile an hour as well uh, on this section of route. We've got the M1 uh, coming back under here. I think it's the M1. The M62 is one or the other. I'm not really a motorway man, so I don't really know. Uh, but all I do know is that uh, when I mentioned before about signs, these gantries, Lewis is going to make some signs for these, so there'll be correct signs uh, on all the gantries in this section. I've mentioned it before as well, just while we're here, the, the building sites, there's a lot of building areas um, that are building up here. So houses and stuff like that, industrial estates, there is already a, a retail park over there in the distance you can see. But, um, there and on this side, housing estates are in the process of being built. Some areas are sort of replicated, um, so you can still see, see here there's some new builds uh, being put together. Crossgate still explaining. You can tell you're in Crossgate. You can see the gas uh, cylinder thing, or gas tower. Sort of dominates the view here.
slight overshoot. I was coming in a little bit hot there, but then again, didn't have the hood on properly. I was only taking the glance. So again, it's all kit bashed. Uh, using the lofts and stuff like that to get the right look for it. Something quite. Uh, again, I don't do these very often with the um, evening runs on streams or videos. But there's something just about driving in the evening with the, just all the lights of the, the towns and villages just flying past you. It's quite nice, it's atmospheric. Especially with good lighting. For the evening light, obviously, the, the twilight. Should be off in a minute. Next and final stop is Leeds. It's four and a half miles to Leeds. So we'll be going through uh, Neville Hill shortly, then Marsh Lane Cutting, and then in, uh, over the viaducts into Leeds Station. It's a platform 11A, I think it was, just double check that. Uh, yeah, 11A for this room. Hoping as well that the next possible next video could be with the power brake control, the AWS box and door panel. Um, I mean, this is sun it's Sunday afternoon I'm recording this. I've already spoken with Dan, uh, he assures, um, hopefully for Monday is a send out day, so hopefully the next day or two after that I should hopefully have it here. So, to do some stuff with that, which I'm quite excited for, should be quite good. Neville Hill is just on our right inside here, what side was it? I remember as well it is a busy section going into Leeds so it does um, it does tail load stutter a little bit uh, once it's loaded in but once it's in it's uh, it's all right again that'll all be dependent on what uh, system 
specs you guys obviously have when you get hold of the moot. Of course, it'll be all different towards whatever you have. Single yellow coming up here, we possibly may be getting held. Pretty sure there's one more signal before the station. Must be one more signal, it's quite a long way from the station that one. Yeah, there's one more, I can see the signal now. Oh, it's just gone green actually. I was waiting that 185 to come across. We've had the free road into 11A. Obviously we've got to remember as well, the more trains you have in here, it is going to be a bit more intense on the system. So we have got a busy scene here. Some of our scenarios, um, if they start at the other end of the station to go to the towards York, we don't want to really fill anything at this end of the station, because you're not really going to see it. Which is uh, helpful to the FPS. But because this one comes down here, we need obviously some AI down here. hope you've enjoyed the video i know it's uh, been a bit more of a dark um, run than we usually do but a massive thanks to everyone who has watched if you enjoy our videos do feel free to like share subscribe hit the notification bell if you uh, feel you need to 
Um, find out any more of our videos and don't forget you can catch us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash trainsim underscore TV. And you can keep up to date with our Facebook page and stuff like that. We do let you know on our um, YouTube community section when we're going to stream with our plant as well. So take care, everyone. Thank you very much for watching once again, and we'll catch you on the next video very soon. Take care and bye for now.